Well, this job has taken a heck of a lot longer than I expected, but it's going all right. I just had to destroy and rebuild this whole thing. It was one of the few parts of this mediocre wood splitter that I thought I was going to be able to keep. Ultimately, it was too crooked, and uh, the guides that were following, keeping it on the rails, were too bad and too crooked, and so I had to redo all of it. But, it's got the motor and the pump and all the plumbing working, new hydraulic hoses everywhere. This side here is not yet finished. That's a tray for the battery and then space for the DC drive component to, uh, for the traction for the drive axle. That's not worked out yet. And also currently it has 240 volt and 120 because this guy has power at 240 and logic at 120 and uh, I don't yet have a transformer in there. So the transformer should go right there and then the button pressing uh, because this contactor has a 120 volt coil. So needs a, uh, otherwise it works great. This is a circuit breaker and it's maxed out at its 32 amp maximum, which is good. Matches the nameplate on the motor. And I know from testing that uh, if I overload the, the thing that stops when it hits max pressure is the motor stalls and within, I don't know, three to five seconds, it overloads the breaker, trips the breaker. So it's been working great as a protection measure and I can run it up to max pressure. Uh, and if it goes into a burly log, it'll stall the motor through uh, resistance on the pump. And I have just a couple seconds to change my approach and move the log to a easier splitting. But uh, yeah, so here it goes. Far from silent, but much quieter. So that Good cycle speed and auto return thanks to the valve with the kickoff where when you push that all the way in there's a detent that holds it and then when it sees enough pressure on the return line it kicks off back to rest so that when you finish your splitting you can deal with the log and just slam that and it'll return to the, uh, the retracted position. Yeah, still needs a uh, drive electronics and uh, battery and it probably needs a platform on the other side yet another of the few things that I thought I was going to be able to leave unchanged from the original but nope it turns out that the wood splitter that served as the basis for this basically provided a reservoir a pump and a good cylinder everything else I've had to change but Coming along. Time to get some firewood done.
Thank you. 